So we've got primaries coming up for the 2022 midterm elections and oh boy there's a bunch of uh, spicy candidates that are out there and let's just see what the quality of these candidates are that are out there and we got two examples here we've got a democrat who's um making some uh, hilarious uh, candid remarks that probably shouldn't have been you know caught on tape especially if you're going to try to advocate for something and then in practice which is just it's just so wild how this shit happens you try to be all politically correct in public and then behind uh, the camera you act totally different fucking weird that never really happens and then you got some gop -er on the other side in ohio who's just fucking based out of his mind but first and foremost let's talk about the democrat uh, she's a congressional candidate, is shamed by mother on Twitter after getting drunk and shouting at schoolgirls. <laughs> Calling one acne fucker, not very, not, not, not very uh, creative on her insults, and another Hispanic fucker, at least she didn't say Latinx, because that would have been actually offensive, uh, during teen Valentine's sleepover, which is kind of weird, before throwing up an, in a hamper and in a girl's shoe. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't, like, her sleepover? Because that's what, like, a teenage girl who uh, got into the parents' fucking liquor cabinet when they were out for the weekend and had a bunch of her girlfriends over. What a fucking disaster. An Oklahoma Democrat uh, congressional candidate has apologized for getting drunk and shouting at schoolgirls, calling one acne fucker and the other Hispanic fucker. Again, it's always Democrats, man. And it's always the, it's always the kids. It's so weird, okay, because you got Democrats doing weird shit with kids and then when it's uh, GOPers, it's always with the gays it's fucking weird whenever these weird scandals come out anyways sidebar obviously uh, during a teenage girl's valentine's sleepover party before she threw up in a hamper and in a girl's shoe Abby Broilus was invi or invited over to a friend's house to share a drink while the friend's daughter enjoyed a slumber party with seven other middle school girls. Huh? Oh great, a little wine mom. Uh, she allegedly became drunk over the course of an evening. I just came over for one drink and that little acne fucker knocked over my goddamn drink and then the little hispanic fucker said that i was a little too old to be dressed like this she allegedly became drunk over the course of the evening and threw up in a laundry basket in a girl's shoe and launched a profanity laced tirade at several of the children but no come on somebody who's pictured more often than not with a fucking half full a liquor glass in her hand i couldn't possibly think that she would uh, go on some sort of a racist tirade couldn't possibly have ever seen this coming and you know what? Hey, one thing I do agree with her on, uh, quit bitching and vote. Exactly. Except for you're a Democrat in Oklahoma. Every single county in 2020 voted Republican. So at least you, at least you like a challenge, I guess. That's one good thing we can say about her. But oof, that's an unflattering still. Um, originally, Broilus fiercely denied that she was even at the party. Ooh, I wasn't even there. I was being racist at home before admitting she had been there. And she was deeply sorry for her actions. I'm sorry I got caught. Uh, Broil said uh, she had wine and sushi with her friend. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have a point of order there. Uh, the fact that you got really sloshed and you started yelling at teenage girls, I'm just gonna say you probably didn't have any sushi, or unless sushi is just a quote, you know, code for sake, that would make more sense. Who gave her a sleeping pill to help deal with her anxiety? Oh, perfectly. Oh, perfect. Uh, a fucking wine mom uh, on pills running as a Democrat. Where have we heard this before? Speaker of the House. However, she claims as she had a bad reaction to the drug, yet taking it with alcohol tends to happen. Isn't that like on the side of every pill bottle? Don't take with alcohol. Anyways, uh, which made her hallucinate. A sleeping pill made you hallucinate when you were drinking just wine. Okay. Blackout and unable to remember what happened that night, but you could remember the hallucinations? Okay. Multiple, multiple reports of the incident by a non-doc alleged that Broyles hurled multiple insults at preteen girls, including acne fucker, Hispanic fucker, and judgy fucker. God, she's really, really drilled down on that whole fucker thing. Couldn't just throw in like a little bitch or the fucking cunt or something like that. You know, just spice it up a little bit. Broilus's friend, whose daughter was having a part or having the party confirmed the Democrat had created the incident of uh, the kind of magnitude that I needed to make phone calls to every parent and the children in attendance the next day to discuss one on one. I'm sorry, my friend got really fucking drunk and it was really embarrassing. And I know she just started getting really racist. It was fucking weird, but not unexpected. You know, I just gave 
gave her some pills. I don't know what happened. Uh, she said her behavior was the result of having a bad reaction to sleeping pills her friends gave her and enjoyed the evening of wine and sushi. So you went over to your friend's house to get pills and then wine and sushi. Your story is very odd, but probably not that much from, I don't know, just the middle-aged box wine connoisseurs and the suburbs makes me sick and helping me sleep i hallucinated and then blacked out and then just uh, i don't know became a bigot uh, i don't remember anything until i woke up came to uh and i was throwing up in a hamper oh my god was really inspired by the uh the young girls wanting to show them this is how you really party you get really fucked up and you just start throwing up in the laundry hamper i used to do that in college back in the 90s i want to say i'm sorry from the bottom of my heart i apologize for any hurt or damage or trauma or dirty laundry I caused for my behavior. Oh, and I didn't know what I was doing or what I caused. I'm be deeply sorry. That's nice. So I'm not going to get elected. Democrat. Oklahoma. Fuck off. Like I said, we have a based out of his fucking mind candidate for Ohio Senate. Okay. Josh Mandel. He was previously erroneously... Um, suspended on i think facebook for hate speech and then once it got brought to facebook's attention i think it was facebook brought to their attention it's like he didn't say anything that was hate speech no we just uh, kind of you know censored him because he's a republican but then they just switched that quickly it's like oh there was no hate speech there we know he was debating his uh democratic counterpart at the time and <laughs> somebody sound the bass alarm uh chaos at ohio senate race debate as republican josh mandel who looks like every twitter libs worst nightmare when it comes to a gop or a straight white man shouts at audience member who said he should be put out i don't know what that means but we can go ahead and uh, theorize exactly what put out from somebody who's going to be uh, standing up for blm but saying yes he should be put out which yeah okay uh for calling blm thugs where's the lie and calls his Democrat rival, uh, like AOC, only dumber. Ow. That's very hurtful. But why would he pick AOC out of a hat? We'll see his, uh, we'll see his Democratic counterpart. And, um, visual simula similarities are there. But I'd also say she's like AOC, but actually attractive. Doesn't look like a meth head. Uh, debate between ca candidates running for Ohio's open Senate seat descended into chaos. Descended into humor. We'll just, I'll go with that. On Monday night, as Republican Josh Mandel shared a testy exchange with an audience member over his past comments calling Black Lives Matter activists thugs. I don't really know what's, what's wrong with telling the truth. Uh, Mandel, who unsuccessfully ran for Senate in 12 and 18, faced off against Democrat attorney Morgan Harper on their second debate at City God Baptist Fellowship in Cleveland. It was a hour-long heated debate during which Mandel called Harper like AOC, only dumber. Use proper punctuation there, for fuck's sakes. Roughly 20 minutes into the event, Mandel was being grilled about calling BLM protesters thugs and saying, you're going to be a politician, you should be learning to lie a little bit better. In their first debate, when an audience member made a loud noise of agreement, and you ain't coming in the black community. Put them out. The feet. Oh, of course. Fucking German Shepherd. Uh, can be heard saying the moderator, who is black, really? Attempt, uh, immediately attempted to de-escalate the situation. Oh, did a good moderator job. That's, that's weird where these political debates are normally concerned. Hey, hey, we're not doing that. Please, he said. Uh, of course. Speaking over his objections, Mandel confronted the audience member directly. All right, this is where the uh, sound the bass alarm. You mean, uh, like put him out? Like with what? A bullet? Do you mean put him out? Oh, what do you mean put him out? Exactly. Clarify your stance, stupid. If you want to scream it out from the crowd, fucking here you go. You now you have the opportunity. Clarify your statement, stupid. The moderately fruitlessly called the candidate's name. Ask him to leave. The woman in the audience continued. You don't belong in the black community. Why? Because he's saying criminals are acting like criminals? Fucking weird, huh? Not saying everybody, but you're too stupid to make that differentiation. Mandel shot back. I thought this was America where we free debate freely. No, this is black America and this one fucking stupid unhappy woman decides that uh, she's going to hijack the entire debate. Addressing the irate voter. <laughs> 
please, she's not voting. Uh, and according to Democrats, she'd be too stupid to vote anyways because, you know, voter ID, it's racist and shit. Uh, the moderator said, hey, sister, listen to me. Don't do that. Fair enough. He then declined the white co-moderator's efforts to intervene. Oh, my God. The white man was trying to stand up and protect the black woman. Oh, my God. It's just that white privilege bleeding through. Uh, I got this. I got this. Look, don't do that. Don't. This is America. He can be here. Uh, don't do that. Don't embarrass me, he said as the woman muttered under her breath. They shouldn't have let him in here. Conversation that was probably uttered 70 plus years ago in the, in the exact opposite, but whatever. She continued, I'm not embarrassing you. You bring that white man into the black community like that. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ. Segregation is alive and well. Thanks, you weren't going to be voting for him anyways, so we can tell. I'm I'm finished, uh, but you... Oh, but don't you suck up to him. Uh, he's in the black community. He's calling my parents thugs. Uh, make him answer the question. Are your parents thugs, though? Are they, though? If they're acting like thugs, then they're thugs. And if they're not, then they're not. It's pretty simple to understand. Mandel, who had been oh, watching the protester, vo or the protesting voter with a smile, jumped back into the fray to address her. <laughs> this dude rules. Uh, speaking over the moderator's continued objections, he said, let me tell you something, ma'am. Oh my god. <laughs> I put my life in the hands of a young black guys. I had young black men uh, put their life in my hands in the United States Marine Corps in two tours in Iraq. So don't stand there and lecture me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, but to be fair, she's probably also fucked her way through the army. So she's also had things um, from young black men put into her hands. Those were my brothers, whether they were black or whether they were white, or Hispanic or Asian. Uh, don't stand there and lecture me about race and color. We put our lives in each other's hands. They were my brothers. <laughs> kind of, you know, we shut her down. Mr. Mandel, I'm the moderator over here and I'm asking you to pay attention to me. And ma'am, will you please fucking stop? Finally, to get the attention, uh, he asked Mandel whether he considered Donald Trump supporters who were arrested for storming the Capitol on January 6th last year as thugs as well. well the ones who broke windows, but God, do they tend to be Antifa as well, who also support Black Lives Matter and then just spin it back around again. Uh, finally, uh, getting to the question he asked Mandel. Oh, I'm sorry. Mandel dodged the question and said disputing the moderator's characterization of the writers as insurrectionists. Well, if that's the way that he characterized it, uh, how many people have been charged with insurrection, by the way? Just asking. And pivoted to criticizing progressive groups like BLM. I want to get to the point where he starts to talk about his... Oh, there it is. At the point during which the debate took a personal jab at his Democratic appointment when Harper accused him of being backed by big insurance companies and big pharma and championed Medicare for all. That's the that's the brainlet right there, who's, yeah, you know, the relatively attractive, doesn't have those big fucking stupid meth head eyes or anything like that. She, she's fine, okay? I wouldn't vote for her to save my life because well, she's a fucking Democrat. Come on now. And as you can see pictured there, the insurrection of uh, January 6th. Oh wait, no, that was just a regular night in Minneapolis, okay. I told the story, story earlier about being at Town Hall, uh, the bar and the restaurants down the street where I told folks I'm going to date Morgan Harper. She's like AOC, only smarter. After hearing <laughs> that answer, I actually think she's like AOC, only dumber. Ow, that hurts. At the end of the debate, Harper could be seen declining Mandel's offer for a handshake. Couldn't? Don't know why that's the case. But again, guys, let's be honest, okay? If these are the two people who are going to be running for Senate in Ohio, Ohio uh, swung for Trump in 2020, okay? And they have very, very strong election integrity rules on the book even prior to 2020, okay? They swung for Trump at about a 9.8, just about at a double-digit clip, by the way. <laughs> swing state by the media's accounts. Anyways... But yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Whoever has the R at the end of their name is going to get the votes, okay? Because everybody, if you think that there's been any sort of movement towards Democrats, just take a look at the national polls that are out there. So this guy could literally whip out his dick and take a piss on the stage and he'd end up getting the votes for. Her. And the fact that he expertly shut down that idiot in the crowd, I don't know, man, big ups for that, so... When the primaries happen, um, which I don't have anything specifically nailed down on this one, it should be soon most of the primary votes are happening, at least at the beginning of March, and then they'll run through most of the spring anyways. Uh, Mandel apparently has a, a lead with 21% of the vote in a crowded field that also involves uh, J.D. Vance, the author of Hillbilly Elegy, and... Uh, 
Ohio Republican Party Chair Jane Timken. Don't know who the fuck that is, but J.D. Vance is a pretty high-profile candidate, so if he's going to be up there as well. Yeah, he's only just about five points behind anyway, so we'll see what happens there. All this shit is subject to change, but if this dude is going to be sounding the red pill alarm this loud, oh boy, uh, it definitely would be worthy of the seat, but I don't know any of his policies. All I know is that uh, he can definitely handle the crowd, which is more you can, say, which is more than you can say about plenty of senators on the GOP side in the United States Congress. With that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.